right, so now we're going to go to the next part of our lesson. Our lesson is going to be in regards to message groups. So as you see here, you will go to message groups. As you see here, I already have a message group already generated. Now I can go in here and change it, right? I can go ahead and delete this whole thing. And basically message one is your essay. I call it your essay. This is not for everyone else to see. This is for you. That should be your clue. That should be your prompt. That should be your pre-planned response in regards to who you're trying to send this out to. Because you might go to different groups. You might have your friend connector set up to go to one sales group or a health group or whatever. And you don't want to get those messages mixed up so make sure that you label them correctly so what i would do i would go to insert that gives you message segment static text where you can just dibble down or whatever or keywords and keywords i like too because you could do a first name last name i could turn around and then add in a message segment it's different combinations that you can do but typically i start off a message segment i would do my greeting and on top of that i will add in my introduction and I will hit add. Make sure you always hit add. Don't go to save. That's a mistake that I did before. And I save it. And then I can go to preview. And then it would go through my all my different messages. Now it's just showing two of them, but it's gonna go through the whole thing. So when people are matching up to what my keywords are, I am able to actually give them a message right on top of the frame request because that might be like who is adding me because I have that typically happen to me people just randomly add me and don't say anything and you kind of diss and you're like I don't know this is a scammer or what and with this feature right here it opens the door because it's a, okay I have a conversation now you could come back and look at who talked to you you could add more dialogue in there you could do various things that you can do to talk to the person that you're hopefully networking with and potentially becoming your customer so one of the things i do tell people is just to make sure that you are sending the right message to the right people you don't want to have any confusion so in the next session i'm going to show you where hey what happens when you have all these frame requests and you're at a limit because facebook does have a limit i'm going to talk about that in the next session and show you how to correct it